Alright, so I just want to show you guys something I picked up yesterday that I think should raise your attention a little bit. Now, we all know that this game does not exist in the world of the market today, so the only other place to get this would be, uh, yeah. So, yesterday I went to go Christmas shopping and I said, hey, I might as well pick up this game because I played the GameCube version I love this game so much. Not because of, uh... Well, I, I just like it because it's a step above Budokai 1 and a step below Budokai 3 in Infinite World. So it's kind of the best of both worlds. So I picked it up. And before I actually show you what's happening, let me just prove to you right here. It is silver-backed. And if you can see real close, the PS2 watermark is here. But let me show you something. This is a PlayStation 2, it's the 9000 series. Yes, I did mod it slightly, but that's... I, I, I haven't done anything to the insides, only the outsides. As you see here, there's a piece of, uh, whatever you want to call it here, wire. This is the one, this is the mod where you can have your lid open and it still spins. Watch this though. It is silver backed as oh wait, hold on, let me turn to my TV. As you saw, it was silver backed and it did have the PlayStation 2 watermark, but if I actually boot the thing up waiting for my TV. If I actually boot it up, watch this. Sony Computer Entertainment. Wait for it. Red screen of death. Now let me prove to you one last time. Logo. Logo. Sure, there is a couple of scratches on here, but I doubt that has to do anything with it. Let me just show you something else here, though. This is the only way I can actually boot it. By using this... If you, if any of you have any idea what that was, just watch my previous videos. Let me just respond to a text here. Alright, here's Swap Magic. If you don't know what Swap Magic is, it allows you to run your own pro homebrew programs for the PlayStation 2, as well as emulators and other stuff like that, as well as run PlayStation 2 backups, like an actual PlayStation 2 game on a blank DVD copy. Now, let's see. Knowing that information, if I put this in here... And wait a couple of seconds. Wait for it. There's Atari. Now, I have no idea what the fuck is going on. I'm not sure if my it's my PS2. I'm not sure if it's GameStop because you never know what those cheap those cheap bastards are doing. Or if it's something else otherworldly, but I know for a fact if I can boot it with Swap Magic and it has the play the PS2 watermark and it is silverbacked, it's legit. But I believe it is a bootleg. So I I really have no idea how this ended up in GameStop's position. But I'm gonna go back to tomorrow and I'm gonna return this game and get a new one. For right now, beware of GameStop. 